Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart the game. If the game is running, close the game, relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, disable Steam input. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to controller tab, disable Steam input and then you can relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, uh, you can you can even try to enable steam input and then check which one is working fine for you or else you can go for default and then follow the next step but when you make changes you have to restart the game next step is to use wired connection now for this you have to connect your controller using the usb cable to the computer so most of the issue will resolve when you go for wired connection and then check next step is to now playstation controller uh, Enable controller in sound control panel. Uh, make sure that you use the wired connection when you do so. Now for this type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to hardware and sound and then go to sound option. And the step is applicable for PlayStation controller user. Now over here you have to connect your controller using the USB cable. Now once you connect the controller using the wired connection, you should be over here, here you can see DualSense wireless controller. Make a right click. If this is disabled, you can you will see enable option. So enable it. In my case, it is enabled. Now make a right click and then click on configure and then quadraphonic. Next, put a check on front, left, and right, and then put a check on surround speaker. Make sure both are checked and then click on next, finish. And now you can launch the game once again and then check. Still not working. The next step is to update controller using playstation accessories app or xbox accessories app if you have xbox controller in that case go open microsoft store and then type in xbox accessories app over here and then you have to install xbox accessories app if not install and then open xbox accessories app and then you have to connect your controller using the cable so use the wired connection again and then once you connect it, your controller will be detected over here. So here you can see it's detecting my controller. Now click on this more option, three dots. And then if there is any update, you will see update option, hit update, and then let the update complete. Once the update is complete, now you can relaunch the game and then check. Similarly, if you have PlayStation uh, controller, you can go to playstation website so search in google and go to the official playstation accessories app website go to the playstation website and then click on download for windows and once the download is complete you can run this exe file and install it in my case it is already installed so once you install you can launch playstation accessories app and then you have to connect your controller now once your controller is connected it should if there is any update over here, you can click on update. In my case, it is already up to date. So update your controller over here and then you have to relaunch the game and then check. Now it's still not working. The next step is to launch Steam in big picture mode. So at the top right on Steam, here you can see enter big picture mode icon, click on it. Now, once the Steam is in big picture mode, now you can find the game, click on the game, and then launch the game from here, and then check. Still not working. The next step is to disconnect all the USB adapter which you're not using. You can unplug the keyboard, and if you have external keyboard, you can unplug it, launch the game, and then check. Disconnect extra control sometimes we have additional controller connected to the computer disconnected disconnect arcade stick disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any kind of virtual controller connected like vj etc you can uninstall it or disable it and then launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel